Hello, I'm John Ombler, the Acting Chief Executive of the Canterbury Earthquake Recovery Authority. Today I'm joined by Dr Carleen Edwards, the Chief Executive of Christchurch City, and we're going to tell you about one or two things that are happening uh, in the city at the moment. In particular, Carleen, the, um, the city's just managed to get its 10-year um, plan, long-term plan approved. Maybe you can tell us a little bit about that. Mm, thank you, John. Um, the long-term plan, uh, 2015 to 25, mm. is um, the council's uh, priorities for the next 10 years. Mm. Uh, but what it sets out is what the council will do, uh, what time frames it will do those things, and, and how it will fund uh, those activities. Mm. So essentially, I think this long-term plan is probably the most important plan that the council has delivered since the earthquakes. Mm. It really sets out how we're going to approach the rebuild and the recovery um, of Christchurch. Uh, it had a number of um, consultation phases, uh, very extensive consultation with over 3,500 submissions and we heard over 600 uh, presentations mm. around those as well. But essentially it consists of three components. Uh, the first is the activity management plans which lets our, sets our levels of service uh, for the city. Uh, the second is a 30 year infrastructure stra strategy um, and so that's particularly important post the earthquakes. And the third component is our 10 year financial strategy which looks at how we're going to fund uh, our spend of $9.9 .9 billion over the next 10 years. Mm. Um, and uh, really in essence what it is is our contract with our community about what the council will deliver and how it will fund that delivery. Mm. It's um, tremendous that you've got that to that point at the same time as we're talking about transition as um, Sarah moves to the next phase of, of, its, of its life in particular, looking at um, as government looks to um, pass over the, the, the mantle of leadership towards uh, uh, local government and local institutions generally. Um, and of course we're working closely with you on a number of those transition processes at the moment. Um, just um, on transition, uh, uh, people will be aware that there's a draft transition plan has been uh, prepared and it is out for public comment at the moment with public comments closing on the, uh, at the end of July. Um, what that does is outline uh, the next phase of recovery, if you like. Um, we've had the first four and a half years, we're looking at the, the, the second five years, if you like. And what we're looking at is, is what are the arrangements uh, required for that period. In particular, our Cabinet's already made a decision that a number of functions that Sarah undertakes will pass to um, other government departments. Mm -hmm. um, there's of course um, the work that we're doing jointly at the moment on uh, the concept of setting up uh, a, a, a body that could be called Regenerate Christchurch, that's the sort of working title, um, and uh, our people are working closely on that at the moment. You and I seem to be attending several meetings a week as that's, as that's progressing. Do you have sort of thoughts of aspirations about um, this, this beast of Regenerate Christchurch? Well, I actually think it's a really exciting opportunity um, for a number of reasons. One is it really focuses uh, the city uh, and our organisations on the regeneration of Christchurch. Mm -hmm. And so this is a new era that we've moved into. Um, so it will really look at uh, how to consolidate the uh, commercial skills, uh, how to focus on the delivery of, of the um, uh, projects around Christchurch and the precincts, um, and also about how we engage the community uh, mm -hmm. with um, what their aspirations are yeah. uh, for Christchurch as well. And I think the, the positive step is about us working together mm. uh, and looking at uh, how we can uh, look at a joint initiative uh, mm. so that we're um, focused on um, those, those things in terms of the regeneration overall around mm. Christchurch. Yeah, of course that's been the big change um, in, the, in the, the sort of the, the rhetoric. It's gone from recovery to regenerate, which I think is a really, a really healthy sign. Um, and, and that's also part of what's being looked at with the uh, new legislation. This, the Canterbury Earthquake Recovery Act, of course, expires in April of next year. And the thinking is now that there'll be a replacement piece of legislation with more of a regeneration focus rather than recovery because we're, we're moving through it. And again, um, Sarah is working closely with not only the Christchurch City Council, but with other councils and, uh, uh, in, the, in the Christchurch area. Um, one of the things I was keen for us to talk about today was the way that our organisations work together. Mm -hmm. If you read the paper some days, you'd think that we're at one another's throats. Um, and that's not my experience. Um, you, know, you and I are meeting um, uh, formally once a week, um, informally or for miscellaneous other times, you know, 
We seem to be constantly meeting. Our teams are meeting. Um, I see a very constructive relationship. Your I'd, thoughts? I'd agree absolutely with you. And ever since I've been here, it's been a good relationship. Our teams are working at all levels on a range of things together. Um, mm. We do meet regularly. Uh, we second people between our organisations mm. as well. And my understanding or thinking about that misconception is that we come from things that slightly different, uh, from slightly mm. different perspectives. So mm. the Crown uh, uh, comes to an issue with um, a whole of government, um, a taxpayer whole of New Zealand uh, perspective, mm. and the council comes with a ratepayer whole of Christchurch perspective. Now, mm. mostly those are aligned. Sometimes there are dis some differences, mm. but that doesn't matter. That's actually about mm. us working through those yeah. issues and coming to some agreement around them and doing that respectfully and mm. appropriately, and I think we do that. Yeah, well, just this morning you and I were talking about something we don't agree on, yes. but that's the nature of a relationship. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, it is a pleasure working with, with you and with the Christchurch City Council. Likewise. Thank you. Now, and one of the things we do jointly, of course, is produce the future Christchurch update. Um, and it's uh, coming into your uh, mailbox uh, this weekend. It's a joint publication between the city um, and Sarah, has been for some time. Uh, the sort of things we've been talking about today and a host of other things are in that publication, which we hope you enjoy.